lift my arms up like that? You look really skinny. I look actually really thin. What's that all about? You look bigger than me. I might stay in this picture forever. I might <laughs> not go back into reality and just stay like this. <laughs> anyway, with me, you and Brian Blessed. <laughs> is it? <laughs> So anyway, hi and welcome back to Finders Beefers History Seekers and today you find us in a big fuck off hospital which is very nice and I didn't need to swear there did no, I? Not at really. all. So yeah we're going to have a look around, there apparently is some really good features still in this place because a lot of the hospitals we've come to in the past are just trashed and there's nothing left and if there was something once it's sort of just sticking out of roofs and like bits of it and store crap. Yeah so I'm getting Snapchats, I've just sent a Snapchat out saying hi to everybody and literally we're getting hundreds oh, going through. Uh, so there's a couple of people I want to mention tonight uh, before we get off. One is Tyler... Whittington. Whittington. So hello, 10 year old Tyler Whittington. Who was the other people? Some epic adventures down in Australia. Uh, fucking hell. I'd look on my phone but I ain't got it, it's there. Something epic adventures, I will mention you in again in a bit, I just, I've forgotten, I'm terrible like that. So anyway, we will get off, we'll get round and we'll have a look. I just promised I'd mention you guys and I have done now. Yeah, so. well done. And someone said the other day, when he was stood here and I was stood here with beard, you need to grow yours a bit longer. No. Oh. I think you should for Russia. Why? I'm not Bolshevik or whatever it yeah, is. Yeah, exactly. Or, what do you call me? I, what? What do you mean? What do I call Oh, you need to be a Slav. Slav? Yeah. I need to get, and does anybody think I should get Andy dressed up as a Slav? So Google Slav and have a look what it is. He needs to dress up like that when we're in Russia. Right, we've just come into what looks like, what well, is the main entrance, look. Hospital entrance up there. Look at this. The glass. Absolutely amazing. I've got to be really quick in this little bit because we are Right near the front, look at that. Look at these. Brilliant. And then a big rotating door, but like I said, I need to get back out of this bit now. Purely because we are going to be seen. So do you reckon maybe we had like a refractory round here? Or refractory? Yeah. You know what a refractory is, surely? It's like your eating bit, your oh. canteen. Well, let's say canteen, that's a refectory. Because that's what they used to call it at our college. Yeah. At our college. Did I you go to Cambridge. Did you go to college? That's just. I'm just stupid. What my level of IQ? The IQ of a plant. <laughs> I'd say nah. I've only got the IQ of a plant part, so. I'm <laughs> worried. It's a big pot washer, that. It's huge as well. I suppose they're going to get through it. it quite a lot. It's massive this place as well. So I was looking at the history of it and it's just gone out of my head altogether. Was it 1920s or before that, this place? 1800s. 18, is it as far back yeah, as that? The original bit is um, 1800s. Right. 1830, 1840. Oh, what is this? This is all a bit strange, this bit, look. What is that all about? With a little gate to get in. Now, if somebody told me this was something to like, like a slaughterhouse for pigs or something, I would believe them. Any ideas what this room would have been for? This is kitchen. Yeah, but what's that barrier for? There, look, like an automatic barrier that comes down there. Lift lifting the floor. Yeah. Oh. oh, where's the lift? That old metal plate there. Oh, the whole thing lifts up. Yeah. It's just to be for like um, trolleys. Trolleys, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Load them up with your, your walls ice cream over there, bang them on down there and took them to patients. That's all sorted, isn't it? It's all good. All that shitty food. Right, so it took my attention this walls, ice cream, and uh, pudding sort of thing. I have noticed there is quite a lot of, well, I've just knocked it all off, but there's rat poo knocking about, which is a bit worrying. But you know what I'm gonna have to do, don't you? It's gotta be done. I've found one, I've found one already that looks perfect for it. So you're gonna have to film, it's not, not that, it's not that one. 
it is 100% not that one. So anyone with a dodgy stomach, please, please now look away. Maybe fast forward a bit. Yeah, it's Sam's Sweet Ting. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so that bit good. It's all Sam's Sweet Ting. Ooh, Sam's Sweet Ting. Right, so this is the one that I chose for myself because it still looks sort of... Oh, chocolate pizza looks like chocolate mousse. Oh my God. Now, there is mold on that side of it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Does it show up, this side here? Oh, I needed to smell it. It smells chocolatey. Oh, does it? I can smell something disgusting. Smell that. It smells like chocolate. Yeah, that's chocolate. chocolate. Oh, well, we'll give that a good go then. What are them chocolates that are round and soft in the middle and... Rolos? No. Um, they're like almost got alcohol in them. Oh, you mean... Um... They, they've got... You can have them with powdery stuff on outside or you can have them with nuts on outside. Liqueurs. Not liqueur, they like liqueurs, but not with the liquid in the middle. The oh, fuck, what are they called? I don't know. If you know what they're called, put it down below. The expensive chocolates with that are soft and I don't actually really like them. You know that gone off taste, like when you know something's gone off? It's gone off. It's definitely gone off. <laughs> 2012 went off. It's something you're not going to expect. I mean, the freeze would be rap shit. One more. One more, I think, is enough. You're a brave man. I think one more is enough. We'll just walk. I need a second. No, he's gone. Matt eats anything. That is fucking rank. That is beyond rank. It doesn't taste like it smells. It doesn't look bad, does it? It smells nice. Don't try a bit. No, I don't. Thanks. Someone was saying the other day about Andy eats. Andy needs to do more eating. No, what can I do? Well, yeah, 2014, I think. Yeah, Five years. Truffles. That's what we're on about. Truffles. Truffles. That's what it smells like. It tastes like absolute wank. Ooh. Don't have pong in here. I wish you could smell this. Oh no, don't. I ain't having no jam. Well, what I was saying to Andy, is these packs on the floor were full of bacon a oh, year ago, yeah. and they've all been eaten by the rats. Yeah, yeah, you can see where the rats have shredded it, look. The cost of coffee as well has all been ripped open. I don't know. The orange juices are on the floor. All the shit down there. They don't look like rat shit, they're fucking big. Big rats are big. They are beasts of rats. Fucking hell, look at the size of some of these turds. They are quite big shit. They are. I think it's fucking guinea pigs. I don't think they're rats, I think they're guinea pigs. They've been eating, having coffee. They'll be fucking running around like maniacs. What the fuck? That, the move from behind me. Did you not even know he's behind me there? I keep that. Oh, you fucking dickhead, you shit me up. I'm not scared of rats, but I thought one were about to jump on me, all coffeeed up. <laughs> Caffeine in its system, ready to fucking kill me. You know what? There will be one somewhere knocking about, hiding, because that's what the fuckers do. If one runs out, I'm going to absolutely. Yeah, because you, you're scared, aren't you, rats? I don't particularly like them, I'm not scared it's... of them. I had a bad experience when I used to work in a bakery. Did you get raped? By, by a rat? Yeah. yeah. And it sheds its skin. Straight up it's up your anus. Because we, we used to go in in the morning mm. and you could see them all running about because we weren't far off from an old brook. And they used to come in for old breadcrumbs and everything. And we used to go around and kill rats first thing in the morning before we had to start work. And made me wait for chasing this rat. And it went up onto some concrete steps. And he was still on top of concrete steps. And we were going to go into an owl and he, it wedged it up the back of its neck by like a fl metal floor scraper. Right. So he says, pull it out. By its tail 
I said, then, then we'll get it. So I tried to pull it out by its tail, and he let go, and it's skin off its tail. Oh, it just off. came off in your hand? Yeah, and I was just holding it. Oh, God. And that was it. Done. And they jumped like, fuck, I They're a bastard. It's like, oh, shit, there's loads of that shit. It's all over. And it's really bad for you as well, really. Yeah, it is. Really bad. Get some sort of disease. Yeah. Look at that for a corridor. Andy. Oh, fuck. Could have warned me. Well, yeah. Why are you, are you coming back for a reason, or...? Yeah, because security are only just stand there. Oh. Oh, let's not go that way, then. That's probably a silly thing to do. Oh, wow. So I'm guessing the theatres are that way, obviously. And this, Andy's just shouted me around to come and have a look at. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. I knew there was going to be like a little chapel in here, but I didn't realise it was going to be quite as good as this. He's back again, what? Oh, it gets everywhere, this kid. Absolutely everywhere. I think that maybe five or six weeks in a row that you've got to mention, Urban Lad Yorkshire. I almost called him Urban Kid Yorkshire there. Oh, by the way, happy birthday to uh, Urban, Lad Yorkshire. Urban Lad Yorkshire. It's his 40th birthday today, <laughs> so he's not really a lad. What's this smell? It's like deep heat in here. I know what it is. I know what it is. It's the priests. They've been uh, lubing up, weren't they, with the DP, the choir boys. <laughs> How the friggin' hell has he got that sticker up there? Well, that's what I've seen him. Yeah, it's our good friend. Ooh. Our uh, little chubby friend. <laughs> you still don't know who I'm talking about, do you? I've got loads of chubby friends. <laughs> Have you now? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Move then, I can't see it. Rhythm Decay Urbex. How, how, how? How is that up there? <laughs> there's gotta be a ladder somewhere because there's no way he could have climbed up there. There's no way I could climb up there. That is bizarre. And what's this, the vestry? Yeah, it keeps all his vests. And his pants. And a safe. And another safe? That's the third one now. <laughs> Why is that handle up? There's no way he's going to carry that. Carry it round with you. Yeah, it's a mobile safe. Is that another safe? Yeah, that one ain't opening though. That's a little cool safe, that one. No, is that way you keep the Holy Grail? What's the point of that? There's nothing behind it. Really yeah, look at these. Scroll to you. Yeah, this carpet's awful. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so just carrying on looking at this, these windows. That's like the white rose and the red rose, which makes no sense because we're not even anywhere near Lancashire or Yorkshire. But this says, if I move this over here, look. Florence Nightingale, the Lady of the Land, 1820 to 1910. But I swear, Florence Nightingale will be four then. I thought she was. Wasn't she in... I was saying that. What, 1820? When was the Napoleonic Wars? Wasn't she something to do with that? I, I'm not sure, actually. This I'm is something... And We're in Finders Beepers History Seekers. You need to know these things. I don't think so anything. But actually, I don't know much about Florence Nightingale. It's one of the people that I don't know. I would have thought mid-1800s mid she was about. When I thought it was Napoleon, Napoleonic Wars she was to do with, but I'm not sure. Anyway, we will find out and probably never tell you. Now, I know these corridors seem relatively new, although saying that, that's like a look back into 1970s straight through there. But it just seems a bit eerie and spooky in here, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't you think? Well, yeah, I you said... Think, I always think hospitals are. Yeah. I suppose it's because of the dead, isn't it? The amount of dead people that will have been in here and people screaming in pain. And you're not putting that on my fucking ear, so get away from me. Go on, I bet that kills. Can't even find me. Hang on. <laughs> that hurt. Does it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking idiot you are. What are you making funny noises for? What have you found? These. Oh, wow. So this is an operating theatre, full-on operating theatre then, isn't it? No. What do you mean? 
<laughs> Shut up! It definitely is. They're huge. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so this is, is this where all your oxygen and, and stuff would come down? And it tells you underneath, I think. Yeah, air. Um, and stuff. There you go. I swear I've seen lots of photographs like this on Instagram recently. Why is your life like that? Oh. Well, surely they could, if the electric's on in there, these must work. Yeah, so it seems like these ones aren't operational. But talking about operations, let's uh, look where they, look, they'd wash their hands in here, wouldn't they? Does this water still work? Have a look for me. I don't think it will. Why are you not touching it with your hand? That's what it is. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, that's why the, those handly bits are like that, innit? So you don't actually have to touch it. Hand sanitizer, hand wash. Wow. I wonder who's gone under the knife in here and what for? Castration. I don't think they've come here for castration. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. It's the first time in ages I've not got filthy somewhere because I don't have to climb around. That's like from a bank vault. They're huge. What's that? Don't you fucking dare. Jesus Christ. You, <laughs> you worry me. You really worry me. <laughs> Twisting my fucking ankle now, you bastard. Idiot. Get in there. Oh, not too bigger. Right, let's follow him through. Hopefully, he's not going to get in there. Oh, we got some more in here. Wow, just go and uh, try lights on these ones, Andy, because I know some of them work. Oh, what like alien ones? It is, it's bizarre, that, isn't it? Like big alien eyes. No, not as small as the balloons. Switches over there. Why are there two clocks? It's probably not a normal. Is that what time you're having your operation in New York? <coughs> one in Paris. Oh wow. Satellite operating like that. That's crazy that they work. Oh. Oh, is that to just cover up the the bits, the knobs and the God that's sending me into a spas. You were already one of them, mate. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Light sensitive photo epilepsy. That was... If you look at that one, you have a woman climbing out. What? Look at that for much longer, you have a woman climbing out with white gown on. It's not the ring. <laughs> I've never actually seen that film, but I still know what you're on about. Yeah. No. I, 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 used to, I used to hate that genre. When I first watched it, it's getting the absolute shit out of me. I'm not, I like scary films, but the amount of films that other people have seen, I've never seen Saw. Why are you looking at me like that? No, I've never seen so. I've never seen Jaws. No, I've never seen, what else? Um, You've never uh, seen Jaws? I've never seen Jaws. I've never seen, oh, what's he fucking called? Grease. No. Um, I've been in Greece. I don't mean like, I don't mean like on a Saturday night at a takeaway, but I mean, I've been in it and played in with Slip Back Air that John Travolta plays in, whoever he is, I played him, but. I've never actually watched the film. I can't believe you've never seen Jaws. And I've only seen, in the last six months, Pretty Woman. No way. Yeah. Oh my God, where have you been? I like films as well. Oh, they? <laughs> yeah, it's literally been hibernated under a stone. I can't believe you've never seen Jaws. But it seems a bit pointless though, doesn't it? I've never watched Baywatch. I've never watched Knight Rider. Oh, no. Baywatch. Knight Rider, oh my God. My favorite show when I was a kid. Never, never seen any of them. And Airwolf. Airwolf just died. Who? Airwolf. Yeah. Airwolf? Yeah. I haven't heard that one. Helicopter. Helicopter. Oh, is it? Yeah. It was a bit like 
the flying version of. I watched uh, 18. Uh, yeah, yeah. I liked 18. 18 were good. Beautiful! Someone was saying you bully, I bully you. And you actually bully me. Look at him. He's actually quite a scary character. With the hair up his nostrils. <laughs> That's a big snotty nose. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh, you dirty grim. Another one? Jesus. Oh yeah, they're all over. This one's, they're like, yeah, they're little, aren't they, those ones? Yeah, like the bottom, aren't they? Mmm. A telly. It's a very square telly. It's for looking inside bodies, though, isn't it? What is this? Look here. What is it? Video camera system. Yeah, that's what that is. It's to, that is to record the operation just in case there's someone playing with someone's tinkle. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Kripu. Bloody hell, that one's big, isn't it? So why would you have one washing machine in, in, in here? But that is massive. Compared to the ones that we've just seen, they're huge. And there seems to be two clocks in every single place. Ah, I think I know why there's two clocks. Because one of them is to say, is that noise? Excuse me. <laughs> one of them's to say how long the operation's lasted, isn't it? So look, it just says 5, 10, 15, 20. You know, so you don't keep them under sedation for too long or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think that's what that is. And then the other one's just the normal time. It's like something would be passed through from the surgeon's operating theatre to there. So I'd just chuck a heart through, bang it in a cupboard, replace what, like it. like a trophy cabinet? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who did you say it were? Bernard Cribbins? Bernard Cribbins. <laughs> Dr. Crippin. I thought I'd heard. Who's Dr. Crippin? I think I've heard of him. Some mad doctor who used to cut people up, didn't he? Oh, I thought he... Didn't he tell stories on... Stories with Mother, or whatever he's called? Watch with Mother? That's the one. I'm sure we've mentioned Watch with Mother before. Right, so we're just coming to what we think... Well, it definitely is the recovery ward. So you've got all... You've been wheeled out once you've had your operation and brought straight into here. Why is there just lots of big dicks on the floor, though? Somebody's gone out of the way. Look, there's another one there. Someone's gone out of the way to make a dick on the floor with whatever that disgusting liquid may be. I don't even want to know. Andy. What? Go up here, Vinny. I found a nap. <laughs> it don't quite stay on. It's not. Woo! Oh, well, that's going to solve the problem of. Uh, my farts, and I don't need to go to the toilet now. I can just stick these shorts back over the top. Back on. Put them back over the top. There we go. There we go. Sorted now. That's better. Thanks. Oh, look at this. What? Would it be used for that? I know obviously it's a bath. No, but why would he need to be this high up? Well, you don't, you lower it down to get in, then they it back up and then you wash them for people who are a bit spazzy. You can't say words like that now, you know that. It's not PC anymore. Oh, is that to piss in? Yep. <laughs> Play it. <laughs> Absolute tit. Ooh. Oh, that's been on a cock. So you've got water, tap, spraying up your arse water, up, down, shower, and Chinese woman getting water on her head. Someone's coming on her head. Why is it always got to be about someone coming? You're a dirty man. I found you a bath. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't start me off again. Right, so... Uh, this is, I'm presuming, one of the big wards in here. It's massive. But yeah, just all, I've noticed all over the floor. Got all your big bags of saline solution. 
Yeah, there's so there's loads. Crisis. I'm not surprised. I'll leave stuff around. I know. There's loads of stuff. But look, it's just a bit spooky in here. You know, actually, Andy, this is the like the bit that I slept in when we stayed at that one in Yorkshire. Hmm. Leeds. Leeds. Yeah, that is in Yorkshire. What is that? Oh, it's a. Are you really putting that on your face? That is rank. <sighs> I would never put any weird things near my mouth. Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, so we've just come into another, what looks like operating theater. These ones are strange. These are like alien. Yeah, yeah you know, like if you're having an anal probe or something like that. That's what I would expect you to come somewhere like this. Jesus, be careful, Andy. So, we've got so look, rapid emergency assessment, care and treatment. So, I'm presuming this is for, it's like triage, and it's where they bring you before you went into proper A&E. Check you out, make sure you're not gonna be dead before they get you in there. And we've got all the nurses stations. We've got all these things here. Gluco tabs. Fast acting glucose energy. Oh, it's like if you're going into shock or something, isn't it? And you're uh, in need of sugar. They're pretty cool and they're not open either. What have we got down here? Something else in here as well. Oh, gluco juice. Cool, we could do with some of these for work. What are you doing, you? I swear there's something wrong with you tonight. You've just missed him running up and down corridors, in and out of rooms, about 300 miles an hour. And now he's playing a video game with a... whatever that is. He's trying to fly a plane. Yeah. I think this is the old... This is the old MRI scan room. MRSI? No, yeah. not MRSI. MRSI, that's a disease. Oh, yeah. Uh, MRI. MRI. MRI, that's it, yeah. So, you would have... Uh, Maybe laid Plus on this bit yeah, of the building there. inside there. You just... Yeah. I can't have one of them. Why? Because it's done by magnets, that one, isn't it? You've got yeah, metal... It's still weird. Metal yeah. plate in your head? Mm. I've got metal filings in my eye. Oh, have you? And it'd suck it out, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Another room the lights on. So is this the... Oh, um, oh this is the, for the x-rays, isn't it? Yeah. Right, Jesus, isn't it? that's... On camera, you can't... It's flashing. It's weird. Is it? Oh my God, look. That's like the most B-Tech version I've ever seen of a Ouija board. Do it wrong with that. Why? Spot the deliberate mistake. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. No, I can't see out. A, B, C, D, E, F, E, H, I, J, K, L. <laughs> <Not L. laughs> I even went through it dyslexic. and you couldn't see it. Really? I, am, right, I am dyslexic, but I still know what letters there are in an alphabet. Do you know where, where the um, name Wheezy comes from? I, I feel I do, but I can't remember. Uh, it's from two different languages, French and German. We oui and Ja, yes, yes. Is it really? Yeah. I don't think I did actually know that. Look at you. You see, people were saying the other day... I'm not thick as shit. So, so, yes, yes. Yes, oui. yes. Ja. Yeah. It's good, yeah? Oh, so we found the x-ray department, but apparently we've got to go through a window here. <laughs> x-ray office. I'm not very good at climbing tonight. I'm feeling a bit tender. A bit useless. I can't get through windows. I've never been able to get through windows because I'm too high. Can't get out with me. Oh, fuck a dog. It's like proper metal pipe, but that bit isn't. That's just to collect some water. But why? And then someone's put blue tack on top of um, it, so it don't come out. Yeah, oh, it's see. this. It's this. Yeah. It's the air conditioning type unit thing, isn't it? And that'll be where the liquid goes. Keep, and then keeps, it keeps the what you, smell out. What yeah. do you get there? Yeah. Um, Legionnaire's disease. It'll be to stop that, won't it? 
But like the French Foreign look, Legionnaire. Look, that in there is liquid. So yeah, better not drink that. Right, so we're in the original x-ray room now. So this was before the one we've just been in. And this is, um, you say 2007 it's been? 2007 it was shut off, yeah. Blocked off. So yeah, uh, this is where they would have, oh God, what's happening here? That's all, why would they, I don't understand. Oh, would the machine have been, or part of the machine have been there then? Yeah. And they've just took it out. But yeah, we've just been saying, what they've done is with this wall around here, in order to get the machinery out, they've actually cut the wall. But you can see, you've got like the, the metal bits up through the wall. Oh yeah. You took see with a big sorry thing. Yeah, you can, it's like gone in a blade. Oh, really strange lines down there. And then they've bricked it back up again once they've done. How thick is this wall? Seriously, it's what? It's good about here. Four, five foot about wide. Here. It's spinning on this. It's huge. I've got to try and get out. I'll have to find it, yeah. I can't believe that. Picture online, apparently. Oh, oh is there? Can't find it along, yeah. That's brilliant. So, uh, it's been good. It's been good in there. Uh, it's massive. I'm tired. It's been a lot of walking. I'm cold now, are you? Are you, you going to focus on me or are you doing that? I'm doing this. Why should I focus on you? Why do you always have to focus of attention? Because I am the most important person here. And I'm not most using your person. We're not using your maps, we're using mine. Oh, no. So, because I don't like yours. And it's me not driving. Right. Anyway, look. Still concentrating on maps. Snapchat from Matt Naden. I'll oh. see one, Bellin. <laughs> Yeah, though, quite an interesting photo I've just sent on Snapchat. I might, I'll put it on our Facebook page and our Instagram. Maybe yeah. you, you could get across and have a look at it on there. Right, we're off. It's been a pleasure with uh, TL Productions, as usual, Matt. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to feck off back over to back your to hotel now as well. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we're not coming to your <coughs> hotel. Now. Excuse me. Kill him with that cough in a minute. Anyway, that was the other thing I was going to say. I am growing my beard. Do you think I should? No. Shall I grow it down here again like I, I used to? grow your beard for... Uh... Yeah, I'm growing it for Russia, that's the reason I'm growing it. I'm just not. Such a wet fart. Anyway, let's get off. Looks like a homeless hobo. Who does, me or you? Me, if I grow any longer than this. Have you grown it any longer than that? No. Well, exactly, so how do you know? When you first started, when you before, if you look at the early videos, he had no beard, he was just an extension of a neck. He was just, he went all the way up. And... <laughs> It's, you always said, oh, I can't have a moustache and beard, it's itchy. And now you have it all the time. And now, the next stage is to grow it long. No, I don't want to. You'll get past that itchy stage and grow it. You need to do it. Itchy stage is gone. Bully him in the comments. Make him grow a beard. Yeah. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye. Is anyone else going to say hello? Bye. <laughs>